Jones is going to be a player. Uh, Nick was fine yesterday. We're waiting on Jordan, so we're going to okay. have to kind of wait and see how that goes. But, but uh, Nick responded well. Okay. As far as knowing whether or not Jordan be ready to some kind of protocol, you got the pass. Oh yeah, yeah, you got to go through all of that. Yeah. So we're, we're uh, we didn't do a lot yesterday as it was, you know, okay. coming off the day after that game. So we'll, we'll have a better indication as we get into tomorrow and and, and see how it goes. Those things a lot of times become really. Uh, as you know, I mean, a lot of injury situations like that become day to day. You know, it's um, it's not like where something's broke or, you know, you know, you try to put a timeline on. It's different, right? So mm -hmm. we just have to kind of work through that and see how it goes. Mm -hmm. How much do you talk about big picture with this team? I know you talk about that with us a lot. I know, but for your players, I know it's when you get better game to game. But you ever talk too much about what you want the program to be? I think you got to. Oh yeah, absolutely. But I don't think you. I don't think you dwell on it because they can't see that far ahead. Right. Right. And absolutely, there's not a day goes by that I don't talk about what we want to be. I don't talk about what a championship mindset is. And and uh, um, that's exactly what I do in the locker room. Right. Like I think I said this the other day, but the old, you know, being with Tom Izzo and coined the the phrase "players play, tough players win championships," and it's like. Long before we were winning championships at Michigan State, we were training and developing and coaching them to, to have that mindset, to be that type of player. And I think that's, that's the big picture, right? The big picture, the, the big picture is staying absolutely locked into the details of the day, the details of the drill, the details of the play, the details that they see in the film, right? That's, that's, that, that's gonna create a bigger picture, you know, when they can understand and absorb the details to become the fundamentals because there's really no fun and joy in the game without being fundamentally sound and detailed in it. You know, you can run up and down the court and play, but you're not gonna win very much, right? And like, we've gotta keep getting the fundamentals and the details down, that, that mindset that goes, because we might play well for 30 minutes. We might play well for 32 minutes. We might play well for 22 minutes. We've gotta play well for 40, and then it may turn into 45 mm -hmm. or 50, right? But that's what you're continuing to shoot for. So um, th that, that's where we're at with that. But there's not one day that we get away from what we want the program to look like. Because if I was just concerned about where we were at for each and every game, we'd never work individually to improve their shooting. We wouldn't work to improve their driving, ball handling, uh, passing to the post, passing on the move, developing weak hands. And that's, that's the cornerstone of our program is the individual improvement that comes into a collective team winning environment. Seemed like you got more what you were looking for offensively this past game. What about defensively? They shot fifty percent. What are some of the issues? There? Well, we 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 you, you shoot fifty percent on the road and and uh, fifty three percent from the field. You think you had a pretty good chance to win. We didn't get enough stops together. We had three stops in a row one time in the second half. That's not enough. That, that, and they're too high powered of a scoring outfit. And so as is, is, is easy as it was for us to score, it was easy for them too. And that, and it can't be that way. And there were just too many times. We let the disappointment of a bad pass or the disappointment of a missed shot come down, and we got beat. We got beat one on one a little bit, right? And we're not a one on one defense. You've got to come back down, and you've got to stand your ground, and 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 you can't get beat. And um, when I see that, I've got to do a better job of getting guys out, like right now. I did a little bit the other night, but you can't give up a play because you're living in the last play. That's immaturity, and that's still one of the greatest weaknesses that we have. And it's not that they're immature people as much, but we're immature with, with how we deal with success or failure on the court. Because really what it comes down to, the old adage, it is the next play. And that next play is coming in real time in seconds. So you, you don't, it's not football where you have 30 seconds to regroup to get ready for four to six seconds. You don't have that. It, it's not baseball where you have the time to get ready for the next pitch or, or in between innings, right? I mean, it's coming. And the average game is over six, uh, possessions in length before there's a stoppage of play, right, on average. So you've got to go, right? You've got to go. And so that, that's what we've got to continue to grow out of. But we did not defend. There were times we did, um, and uh, but we did not defend them as well as we needed to. Uh, and, and, that, and if we'd got three stops in a row a couple times, that would have really changed the game for us, even as close as we were because of the way we were scoring.